16 Marines are arrested at Camp Pendleton on a slew of charges ranging from drugs to human smuggling. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, what else can you tell us about today's arrest? Well, Julie, that's right. The Marine Corps announced that 16 Marines were arrested during a battle formation at Camp Pendleton in California on charges ranging from human smuggling to drug-related offenses. Eight other Marines from the 1st Marine Division were taken in for questioning on their involvement in alleged drug offenses unrelated to today's arrests. Information gained from a previous human smuggling investigation precipitated the arrests, we're told. None of the Marines arrested or detained for questioning served in support of the Southwest Border Support Mission. Julie. And there is also news, Amy, I understand, Jennifer, I mean, uh, I understand of some Navy SEALs getting into trouble, right? That's right. It's not just Marines. Uh, U.S. officials tell me a platoon of roughly 20 Navy SEALs from SEAL Team 7 were sent home to San Diego for drinking alcohol while deployed in Iraq, an embarrassing end to a deployment for this special operations unit. General Order 1, number 1, prohibits alcohol use on deployment. A spokesman for U.S. Special Operations Command issued the following curt statement. Quote, the commander of Special Operations Joint Task Force Operation Inherent Resolve in Iraq ordered the early redeployment of a SEAL Team platoon to San Diego due to a perceived deterioration of good order and discipline within the team during non-operational periods. The commander lost confidence in the team's ability to accomplish the mission. It's the latest incident to mar the SEALs following the highly controversial court-martial case earlier this month involving SEAL Chief Eddie Gallagher, acquitted of premeditated and attempted murder of an ISIS teenager during a deployment to Iraq two years ago. He was found guilty of the charge of posing for an unofficial photo with the corpse of a dead ISIS fighter. He was also from SEAL Team 7. Just last week, the Navy Times reported six members of SEAL Team 10, based outside Norfolk, Virginia, used cocaine and cheated on their drug test to avoid getting caught, according to a Navy investigation. They, too, have been disciplined. And in May, two Navy SEALs and two Marines were charged in the murder of a decorated Green Beret while on assignment in West Africa. Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar was strangled to death during a brutal hazing incident involving alcohol. A member of SEAL Team 6 cut a plea deal. The other SEAL is awaiting sentencing.